Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to this Ramadan Tawasu series as sirat al-Mustaqim. The first station that we will define on this journey with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to define the purpose. Why we are here? What's the purpose of our creation? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers that question very clearly in the Quran when he said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have only created the jinn and the human to worship me. To worship me was translated by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, the cousin of the Prophet, the translator of the Quran, as لِيَعْرِفُونَ so that they would know me. So the first stop on this journey that will determine the entire direction of this journey is to know our purpose and our purpose is to know Allah. So how do we know Allah? Look around you, my dear brothers and sisters. Open your eyes and look at the universe around you. And then close your eyes and look at the universe inside you. Allah has put around us and inside us signs and clues that will always point us to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the beauty of Islam, that when Allah asks you to believe, he asks you to believe based on shahada, to bear witness. In order to be able to bear witness, you have to read, you have to search, you have to look, you have to read the signs, get the clues, and it will all point you in one direction which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then based on that, you start your journey and you say, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his prophet and messenger. I asked myself a question and then I went around and I asked others, what did you see? What did you bear witness? What did you witness to that made you? I see and I bear witness and I testify. A witness is not only someone who saw something with their eyes, but maybe they heard it with their ears, but maybe they were in circumstances and they are called to the stand of witness to be a witness. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites us in Al-Quran, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ We will show them our signs around them and in the horizons and inside themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. This journey starts with knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has even gave us greater details when he sends the prophets and send with the prophets books and scriptures. In the final scripture, which is Al-Quran Al-Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you about himself clearly through his names and attributes and through the actions that he does in his creation. When was the last time you reviewed the names of Allah? When was the last time you brought them into your life? Each name secures a different fear. Each name brings you whole. Each name reconciles you from inside. And it makes you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a whole different level. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Al-Quran Al-Kareem showed you his policies, his ways, that's why one of the beauties of Islam is that when you deal with Allah, there is predictability. In tamsurullaha yansurkum. If you stand with Allah, Allah will stand with you. What we see, my dear brothers and sisters, of our brothers and sisters in Gaza, and how under the bombs and facing genocide and facing a massacre every day, they keep on going back to this solid foundation. You want to take from me my God, you will not take it from me. Just like you want to take from me my land and my home and my family, the land, Allah owns it, the earth and the entire universe is owned by Allah. I belong to Allah, my family belong to Allah, and we will all meet in front of Allah on the day of judgment. That Iman and faith enables them to go through the most horrific experiences right in front of our eyes. May Allah Azza wa Jal stop this massacre and this genocide. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Not only in the creation around you 
And not only when you look inside you, you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And not only when you read his book, you become inspired and you learn so much about him, but also through your daily life. When you make a prayer to Allah and Allah answers your prayer, when you go through some miraculous event like life and death situation, you know you shouldn't have made it alive from that incident, but yet you made it and you can see it's a whole new life was written for you. Allah has given you just another chance. You can see through your daily life how Allah Azza wa Jal communicates with you and brings you back to Him. Maybe you will wake up. Maybe you will remember. Maybe you will become awake and alert and aware. This is the beauty of this faith and this is the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I really recommend you when you go home and you sit on your devices that you watch the creation of Allah. I just realized that there is more than 369,000 species of flowers, more than 17,500 species of butterflies. Allah Azza wa Jal has created all of this for you. When someone brings you one flower or brings you a, you know, a station or a cage with butterflies in it. Oh, you love them for the rest of your life. But subhanAllah, Allah created so many flowers, so many butterflies. Allah has shown you His signs, His beauty, His strength, His vastness through this universe. And it's up to you. What are you going to do with these signs? Are you going to follow the signs after you have seen the truth with your eyes? Or are you going to look the other way and walk away because God knows what are your motives and what's your purpose and what illusion and delusional things you built for yourself in this world. This world is nothing but a station on our journey and this journey for everyone. We're all going towards Allah. So let's be ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially in this blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah Prepare us in this world for the next world to be from the winners and from those whom Allah loves and they love Allah. Ameen ya Rabbal Alameen.